Hello grade 11s and grade 12s. In this video, we're gonna be looking at electrical energy as well as the cost of electricity. So this is a continuation of the electricity or electric circuits playlist. If you've missed any of those videos, look at the links in the description box below. Subscribe for more videos like this and watch to the end for all the teacher tips and I can't wait to see you in another video very soon, but let's get into this one. First things first, if you missed my video about power, very important concept. You need to go look at, the look at the link in the description box below before you move on to electrical energy. It's going to be very important for you to understand all things related to power. In order for you to understand energy, they go hand in hand. But let's move on to electrical energy. Now, we've discussed energy before, and I just want to emphasize one thing very quickly, that energy transferred is the same thing as work done. So energy, the unit or the symbol rather, let's start with symbol. The symbol for energy is E. The symbol for work is W. E and W. However, the unit for both of these physical quantities is joules. J. So if I had to tell you that three joules of energy was transferred by the battery, it means that the battery did three joules of work. It's the same thing. Energy and work, same thing. Please keep that in mind. Now, where have we spoken about electrical energy before? We've definitely spoken about this in the context of circuits before, and it was with this formula over here. V is equal to W over Q. Remember, V is potential difference. So potential difference or voltage is equal to the amount of work done or energy transferred there, W, per unit charge or per coulomb charge, per unit charge or per coulomb charge. And remember that the word per, in this case here, means divide. It's a rate, basically, that we're talking about. And again, I want to emphasize that although it says W in this formula, W as in work done, this is the same thing as energy transferred. So if they give you energy in your little story, in your questions, in your past papers, and you look at this formula and you think, oh, no, they're giving me energy, but I can't use this because it's work. You are wrong because W, energy, same thing. Now, the next thing that you need to know is that the energy transferred to an electrical circuit is equal to the power multiplied by the time. Power, which we spoke about in the previous video, multiplied by time. So E is equal to power times time. And power is, remember we spoke about measured in watts, but another unit for watts is joules per second, and time is measured in seconds. And if you take a look at these units and cancel, do some maths, you will get joules. The unit for energy is joules. How does this work? Joules per second can be rewritten like this. Joules per second times seconds, the seconds cancel, you get joules. And it's very, very, very important to take note that time has to be in seconds in order for this formula to work because joules per second, time must be in seconds. To go from minutes to seconds, you times by 60. To go from hours to seconds, you times by 3,600. And this often confuses some of my students. It's basically to get from hours to minutes, you times by 60 because there's 60 minutes in one hour. And to get from minutes to seconds, you times by another 60, because there's 60 seconds in a minute. So times 60 times 60, that's where the 3,600 comes from. It's very important to convert to seconds. So these are the formulas that you should be aware of so far, based on grade 10 work actually already. This is the formula for potential difference or voltage. It does involve work or energy. We've got the formula for charge or current, depending on what you're working out, and then Ohm's law, which allows us to work out resistance, current, or voltage. And now we've got energy or work is equal to power multiplied by time. When we combine and rearrange these formulae, we can get these three new formulae. And again, it looks like these are formulae for work done, but it's the same formulae that we will use for energy transferred. And as you can see, the work done or the energy transferred depends on a whole range of things in a circuit. It can depend on time, current, voltage, resistance. 
Now, a very important part about the electrical energy section of your work in grade 11 and grade 12 is calculating the cost of electricity. And you will hear or you should have heard of the unit kilowatt hours. Now, because it says kilowatts, people immediately think that this is a unit for power. However, kilowatt hours is not a unit for power. It is actually, in fact, a unit for energy. And I'll show you why in a second. But why is kilowatt hour so important? Kilowatt hour is so important is because we calculate the cost of electricity based on the number of kilowatt hours used by a particular appliance. So as I mentioned, it's not a unit for power. It's actually a unit for energy. And let's see how that makes sense. Remember, we said that energy is equal to our power multiplied by our time. Now, take the first part of the unit kilowatt we already discussed in this video and in the previous video that power is measured in watts the unit for power is watts if we have a large amount of power we can speak about kilowatts it's basically like speaking about kilograms instead of grams so one kilowatt is equal to a thousand watts okay so it's just like one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. That's how I remember the conversion. It's basically similar type of thing. So kilowatt, that kilowatt is a measurement or a unit for power. Okay, so power, kilowatts, the unit. And as you should know, the most obvious hour is a unit for time. Time, time, T, hours. So power, kilowatts, times time, hours, gives me kilowatt hours, which as you can see, is a unit for energy, not power. So that's basically what this thing summarizes over here. It says energy transferred to certain appliances, think a fridge, think a microwave or whatever, can be very large. That's why we often charge electricity, we work out the cost, using a larger unit called the kilowatt hour. So I broke it down for you over here, explaining why it's a unit for energy, and this is a very useful table to help you with the conversions. Most importantly, the one from kilowatt to watt or watt to kilowatt, that's very important. And then to get from kilowatt to kilowatt hours, you basically just take your kilowatts, your power, and you multiply it by your time in hours. Very, very easy. The bottom conversion here isn't used as often, but I just thought I would put it there, you know, just for reference. Now, how do you calculate the cost of electricity? So as I've mentioned, energy providers, okay, ESCOM, whatever, they charge for each kilowatt hour of electricity that we use according to a tariff. So a tariff is amount of money that you pay per kilowatt hour. So for example, it says here that in 2020, the average electricity cost per kilowatt hour was 110,93 cents. That means that for one kilowatt hour, you paid 110,93 cents for one kilowatt hour. But obviously, appliances don't use one kilowatt hour, they use whatever. So that is what the tariff is. So if they say the word tariff, it's the amount. So here I said, for example, two rand per kilowatt hour. It's the amount that you pay per kilowatt hour. And these are the steps that will follow to work out the cost of electricity. So I said, yeah, we do the question in two parts. First, because we're working with kilowatt hours, we need to work out the kilowatts. Remember, kilowatts is power. So you need to work out the power. If, you're, if you have your power in watts, you need to convert it to kilowatts. Basically, use your table over here to convert watts to kilowatts. You divide by 1,000. Then you convert your time to hours because we're working in kilowatt hours. They'll often give you time in seconds or minutes, mostly minutes. You need to convert it to hours. That will give you your kilowatt hours. Then all you do is you multiply your kilowatt hours. So if it's three, you take three kilowatt hours and you multiply it by your tariff and that's it. I think the best way for me to show you this is to do an actual question. So it says here the specifications label on a kettle gives its power as 1,850 watts. Now immediately, you know you're going to work out cost of electricity. You can't have it in watts. It needs to be in kilowatts. We'll get there. It says the cost of boiling a full kettle of water if it takes Six minutes to do so that's what they want us to calculate and the local tariff is 1.5 rand so one and a half rand per kilowatt hour so again what are my steps 
I need to convert power to kilowatts. My power is given in watts, so I've got 1850 watts. I need to convert that to kilowatts. You divide by a thousand. So dividing by a thousand will get me 1,85 kilowatts. Step one, done. Okay, done. Converts time to hours. So they gave me six minutes. To convert time, remember, now my students often do get confused with this. They'll say, oh, converting minutes to hours is time 60. But see if that makes sense. If you have six minutes, if you times up by 60, you're going to get 60 times six, which is 360 hours. That doesn't make sense. How is six minutes 360 hours? So it's not time 60, it's divide by 60. So six divided by 60 is 0, 0,1 hours. That makes sense, it's a tenth of an hour. So step two is done, convert time to hours. Then use kilowatt hours to calculate cost. So remember, we basically working out energy. Energy is power multiplied by time. The power is in kilowatt hours, kilo, sorry, kilowatts. My time is in hours. So my kilowatts is 1,85. My hours is 0, 0,1. That gets me my energy so far. So 1,85 times 0, 0,1. I get 0, 0,185 kilowatt hours. Basically, all you do is you multiply your kilowatts by your hours to get kilowatt hours. Then you take your kilowatt hours, which obviously in this case is 0, 0,185, and you multiply it by the tariff. Now, the tariff is the amount per one kilowatt hour. It's this amount over here. So you take your total kilowatt hours, multiply it by your tariff, and you get your total cost of electricity. Now, this answer is given in rands because the kilowatt hour tariff is given in rands. But if you wanted to convert it to cents, you would just times it by 100 because there's 100 cents in a rand. You don't need to, you can leave it as rands. If you want to see more cost of electricity questions, check out the link in the description box below. And I can't wait to see you in more videos in the future. Subscribe for more. Bye, everybody.